My research domain is at the intersection among three interdependent areas, language, cognition, and brain. To understand language change, I drew insights from biological evolution. These insights led to a theory called lexical diffusion, where each language is full of variant constructions competing with each other, and the winning variants survive to the next generation of speakers. In recent years, the focus shifted somewhat to how language changes across the human lifespan, from acquisition in infancy to its disintegration due to neurodegeneration. The theory of lexical diffusion was first formulated on the basis of data from Chinese dialects. Our current research on the loss of language and cognition is a much more complex area because science still knows very little as yet about the workings of the human brain. Any intellectual contribution we can make to this complex multidisciplinary area will help our species to meet the very severe challenge of population aging, In connecting language change to the broader perspective of evolution theory, several aspects of my approach to research are evident. I can humbly accept credit for efforts to bring the linguists together between China and the USA via several mechanisms. These include establishing a bilingual Journal of Chinese Linguistics in 1973. The journal will soon be celebrating its 50th anniversary. I have long been curious about how the brain gives us the, the ability to speak, to comprehend, to read, to write, and to translate among diverse languages, collectively called natural language processing. Learning language via linguistic data alone by computers is critically different from embodied and situated learning by humans with biological bodies and situated in physical and social worlds. My current thinking is that alongside with investigating how the language ability is acquired during infancy and how it declines during neurodegeneration, important insights can be gained by examining and comparing language acquisition and generation by computer. With AI so close to the heels of human abilities, the nature of research is bound to undergo major changes in the years ahead. <laughs>